The Mitre Red 1500 versus the new Infrared Flex 2022. Which one is better? Let's find out. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, I have two panels behind me. On my right, I have the Mitre Red Mitre Pro 1500. This panel came out number one in my 2021 comparison series. That's where I looked at 12 different red light therapy body panels and that panel came out number one. On my left, I have the new Flex Max. This is from Infrared. Now, Infrared had their 2021 version. Um, it was Infrared Max 2021, funnily enough. That placed third, so two panels behind the Mitre Red. This panel is their new and improved one. It's been totally redesigned, re-engineered uh, from the ground up. There's a whole new bunch of features in there. It's a completely new panel. Now, I don't want to get into the details on this panel in this video because I've already done a full review. I'll check that out. Um, I'll put a link to it below if you want to check that out. I've also done a comparison video on the new Flex comparing it to the older one, the older Infrared one. So you can go watch that as well as a quick up to speed. So anyway, what I want to do in this video is just see how this new Flex compares to the Mitre Red Mitre Pro 1500. Is it better? Or is the Mitre Pro still the best? Okay, so all I'm gonna do in this video is run through the key differences. The, the key things you need to be aware of when you're buying a panel. Price, shipping, power, warranty, performance, ease of use, all that sort of stuff. I'm not doing anything fancy with the scoring or anything. We'll, we'll save that for another day because uh, a lot of work goes into this. But still, I hope at the end of this video, it'll help you make more of an informed decision. Uh, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to my reviews on the Flex. So yeah, check out that full review if you are considering buying a Flex. Um, this video is just gonna be more of a quick head to head going through the key features. So let's get into it. First up, how many LEDs? Mito Pro 1500 is actually quite a large panel. There's 300 LEDs in this panel. The Flex Max has 240 LEDs. Okay, so you, you can see the size difference. The Mito Pro is the larger panel. Um, it's slightly wider and it's obviously taller as well. And I mean, that alone is a big plus for the Mito Pro, right? Like if you're only buying one panel, you want the biggest panel you can get, right? Of course, both of these panels uh, have combinability or modular capability so you can get two of these and hook them together or have them side by side just like you can with the flex so you got to factor that into the into the equation as well um but yeah the minor pro is a larger and wider panel with more leds now because it's larger it's also more expensive the mitre pro discounted after using discount code alex comes out to be 1092 dollars that's us the flex over here discounted comes out to be $902. So it's quite a big difference. What's that, like nearly $200 difference. But remember, you're getting 60 more LEDs. Still, some people would say, look, I'd rather you know save 200 bucks and, and have 60 LEDs less. And that's where the infrared panels do really well from a price point, they offer exceptional value. But later on in this piece, I'm gonna be comparing the two panels from a value point of view, looking at how much power you get per dollar spent. So um, hang around for that one. Speaking of power, I just wanna do a quick shout out to Performance Lab Energy. This is a supplement I take every day and it's really good for mitochondrial and cell health. Uh, it's got bio, bio PQQ, coenzyme Q10, RLA, uh, acetyl L-carnitine uh, and black pepper extract for absorption. Really good for underlying health and well-being, and it's not one of these stimulant supplements that's gonna send you through the roof and then crashing, okay? So I'll put a link to that below if you wanna check it out. All right, what about shipping and warranty? Well, both of the panels, or the companies that sell the panels, offer three-year warranties on these products, so that is great. Shipping is free in the US for both Mitre Red and the Infrared, so that's great. However, if you live outside the US, you're gonna to have to pay shipping if you want the Mitre Red. Uh, prices seem to vary because shipping is just crazy at the moment, but look at spending about 100, maybe more, $150 plus uh, to get it shipped to your door. At the moment, which is quite amazing, you can get the Infrared Flex Max uh, shipped to your door for free, which is awesome. So that's also another big plus if you're outside the States. Uh, not only is it cheaper, but the shipping's cheaper as well. Okay, what about wavelengths? Well, as you all know, the Mitre Pro 1500 has four wavelengths, 630 and 660 nanometers, and 830 and 850 nanometers. You get 25% of energy going to each of those, so it's evenly split. The Infrared Flex has five wavelengths. 
You get 25% going to 630, 25% going to 660, 16% going to 810, 16% going to 830, and 16% going to 850. Okay, like, I hope that makes sense. Pretty much though, you're getting more wavelength exposure from that panel, you're getting, you're getting the 810, which is not included in the minor read. Now, if you're keen for that 810, I mean, it has been shown to be beneficial for some brain um, performance and brain health then yeah, I mean, that's a big selling point for the Flex over the Mitoread. What about Pulsing? Mitoread doesn't have Pulsing, the new Flex Max does. Now the Pulsing is not like the Juve where it's just one pulse rate. This one is customizable. You have anything from no Pulsing through to one hertz through to 10,000 hertz. It's quite amazing. And you can pulse that both for red light and the infrared, uh, which is pretty neat. Personally, it, I don't really use Pulsing, but some people do want it, and hey, it's a good feature as well. So that's another big selling point for the Infrared Max, Infrared Flex Max over the Mino Red Mino Pro. Next up, another new feature that the Flex has that the older generation didn't have is the dimming functionality. Now with this panel, you can actually go in and dim the light. So let me show you. This is 100%. I'm gonna lower it down to 40%. And I can go all the way down to 1%, which is there, which is actually pretty cool, right? So that's a feature that isn't available in the minor red. The minor red's all or nothing. Why is dimming a great feature to have? Well, it means if you're doing extended sessions, um, meditation or something, you can lower the intensity. If you want to use it as a background light to light up the room without a massive power bill, you can do that. Uh, or you just want to experiment. Maybe you don't want the full power coming out of the panel, you just want half. You can do that with the Flex Max, you can't do it with the Mitre Read. So another selling point for the uh, Flex over the Mitre Read. What about accessories? Well, they're all pretty standard here. They come with goggles, mounts, door hooks, cables, power cords. So there's nothing really unique about each of them here. What I do want to talk about though are the stand options. Now, for the Mitre Read, you can get a horizontal or a vertical stand for about $280 to $300, there's a $20 price difference between the two of them. I can't remember which one's more expensive, but let's just say 300 bucks, which is pretty good price. Um, some stands, some companies sell are like four or 500 bucks. Actually, and for Eddie, their vertical and horizontal stands are $450. So look, if you're planning on using these panels with a stand, make sure you include that, those figures into your uh, calculation because that's $150 extra. So straight away that $200 price benefit that the m had is eaten up with your stand costs, right? One other thing I should mention though is um, the Flex has a floor boot stand uh, that is $100. And good thing I checked, Mito Red also do a floor stand with wheels and that is $139. So they both have that option. Now for the nitty gritty power details, what I'm gonna do is uh, tell you the Mito Red numbers and then compare it to the and for any flex numbers. Okay, so in terms of peak power, which is simply the highest reading I can find, the Mito Red trumps the Infrared. We have a figure of 88.2 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which is really, really good. The flex, very close, a peak power of 85. So really there's not too much difference and um, both of them are gonna put out a heap of red light. Average over nine points, Mito Red 76. Remember the higher the number, the better. The Infrared Flex 67, so Pretty much the, the Mito Red is a more powerful panel. Uh, when you do the wattage calculation, which shows the total amount of watts put out from these panels, uh, Mito Red 136 watts, the Flex 103. Now the reason why that's so much lower, like 20, 30% lower, one is because it's a smaller panel, uh, less LEDs, and two is because it is a slightly less powerful panel as well. So now that we have those wattage figures, this is here we can do the value calculation that I um, touched on earlier. Now this, what I do with this figure is I look at how much money you're spending to get one watt of therapeutic red light. The Mito Pro 1500 has a dollar per watt value of $8, which is extraordinary. Anything under 10 is amazing. $8 is, is awesome. Um, now the Flex has a figure of $8.75. So you're paying 75 cents more per watt of light. 
with the infrared. It's not a big difference. Uh, some panels are, you know, $15, for instance, $20, $30. So it's really not a big difference. And remember, one watt of red light in, in the Mitre Pro isn't equal to one watt of red light in the Flex because you've got the 8, 10 nanometer light. Um, so you've got to keep that into consideration as well. But pretty much it shows that, hey, look, both of these panels are offering good power and are, are offering good value as well. Um, you know, if we had a panel that was putting out the same amount of power, but was three times the price, this score would, would reflect that. Okay, what about sound? Well, the Mito Pro 1500 came out to be 52 decibels. I like, anything under 50 is like awesome. So that was slightly higher. The Flex comes out to be 49.7. So it is ever so slightly quieter. Finally, we have the control system. Mito Red, pretty straightforward. You turn it on, you can choose between Red light, which shows as an A, uh, or infrared, or both. Then you have your time, and then start. Pretty simple. This light here glows when the infrared LEDs are glowing because they are invisible. Timer counts down, job done. Quite simple, really. I mean, it's very basic, but it does all you need it to do. Over here, the infrared -y flex. It's similar, but <coughs> different. Okay, so we do have an extra button in here, and as you can see at the top here, there is quite a, a little bit more data on the screen. So we, at the moment, we've got the timer going. Uh, down the bottom, we can see that we've got red and the infrared light. We're running at 1% power, and there's no pulsing. For me to change things, I hit set, brings up this menu. I can use plus and minus to change the time. Plus and minus between red, the infrared, or both. Plus and minus for the brightness and then plus or minus for pulsing which goes all the way to 10,000 crazy huh so now we're at the part of the video where you want me to say one is better than the other right well um unfortunately i don't i don't really know do you know what, what do you think is better after this quick comparison rundown uh which one would you buy i, I guess if you want to know my thoughts look we know the mitre pro is an exceptional panel Extremely high powered, you're getting multiple wavelengths in there. Um, good value, I mean that $8 value figure was awesome. Good warranty, good company, been around for a long time, good support. So you know you're getting something good. Uh, it's also quite a large panel, 300 LEDs, a little bit taller than some other panels as well. Um, you know, you get a, a half one of these, what would that be, a 750, clip it underneath, you get two of them, you get a full array um for full body treatment treatment pretty cool and plus you get the multi-wave technology right then for any flex i mean now you've got some new features in there the dimming feature uh the pulsing and plus that extra wavelength there are some strong points to differentiate it to the mitre pro it's a little bit smaller though um you know less leds however it's also cheaper 200 bucks cheaper uh shipping internationally is cheaper so you know, a few things to factor in here. I guess it really comes down to what you want and where you live. Uh, do you just want one panel to hang on the back of your door and, you know, just do a session every now and then and you live in the States? Look, maybe you're better off with the Mitre Pro, it's slightly larger, just turn it on and, and you're getting good power and everything. If you're living outside of the States and you plan on upgrading over time, you might not be worried about the smaller size here because you're going to get more panels later on and plus you know that extra hundred twenty dollars for shipping which you'd have to pay with the Mito pro is a big plus uh, or are you some advanced biohacker who wants to geek out with like pulsing rates and use it in the in your living room in the evening when it's dark and just have that ambient glow um and you want as many wavelengths as possible then in that clay in that case the infrared is, is going to be the go-to um, of course there's other panels out there as well this is just between two panels uh, what about you know your biomax what about your cyto led your solbaciums your light path leds all of those other ones uh if you would like me to compare the new flex with some of those other panels let me know which one's below and I'll try to do another one next month. And of course, one day I'll do another big updated body panel comparison with the new panel from Infrared and any other new panels from other companies. All right, if you've enjoyed this, leave comments, questions, thumbs up, likes, all that stuff below. Leave any comments that you may have if you own one of these or you're thinking of buying one uh, and be sure to check out some of my other videos, including a full review on the Infrared Flex. All right guys, see you later.